NYU, shame on you. 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 NYU, keep your word. 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 It's a sham. There is no reason. You know, seven years ago, many of us stood here protesting when the Poe House went down in order to get an NYU law school. Now the Provincetown Playhouse goes down to NYU law school. Now, when I think of Greenwich Village, I don't think about NYU law school, but maybe I need to revise my thoughts. No, don't revise those thoughts. Well, I won't revise those thoughts, because that's, but that's what they want. They, they want, want this to, to be, thoughts. yes, they want to be, this to be the NYU law school village. Oh, yeah. The village of the NYU law school. This is not acceptable. What is going to happen to the art, the artistic spirit that really drives New York, that makes us different, that makes us the cultural capital of America? Is it all gonna be places for NYU law school professors to have their office hours? This is not acceptable. Amen. Woo! Preserve, don't demolish. 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 NYU, shame on you. 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 Preserve, don't demolish. 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 Everybody, thank you very, very much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. I'm Andrew Berman from the Greenwich Village Society for Historic Preservation. Yay! The Historic Districts Council, Simeon Bankoff, is here with us today as well. Of course, the Reverend Billy from the Church of Stop Shopping. And of course, dozens and dozens of neighborhood residents, theater people, folks who care about and love our neighborhood, our history, theater in New York City, who are here to say that there is no reason why this building, the Provincetown Playhouse and Apartments, which has been here in one form or another since the 1830s, 
should be demolished. That's right. NYU does not have to, and they should not destroy this great piece of our neighborhood and our city's history. We are here today because NYU made a promise to this community. They made a promise, and these are the words that they signed on to, that they were going to prioritize reuse before new development in all of their new projects in our neighborhood. And they broke that promise. We are here because NYU pledged to support landmark designation for this and all of the buildings in this neighborhood. And with their plan to demolish this building, they are breaking that promise. We are here today because NYU, only after an enormous amount of public pressure, promised to save just 6% of this building. And they call that a compromise. 94% demolition, 6% quote unquote preservation. That's NYU's idea of a compromise. And as you can see from some other buildings where NYU has done the same thing, such as over there, and where's our picture of the Poe House? This is how NYU preserved the Poe House. They reconstructed it, moved it down the block, and encased it in the middle of a huge new law school building. And now, with this new law school building, they want to do the same thing with the Provincetown Playhouse. And we're here today because NYU is embarking on a 25-year plan that would add between three and three and a half million square feet of space to our neighborhood. That is the equivalent of 80 more of the buildings that NYU wants to put on this site. And that is simply not acceptable. NYU cannot continue to consume more and more of our neighborhood. And for those of you who don't know, the Provincetown Playhouse and Apartments is one of the most historically significant buildings in this neighborhood or anywhere in New York City. The State Historic Preservation Office ruled that it is worthy of listing on the State and National Register of Historic Places. This building is considered the birthplace of modern theater. A variety of institutions that were located in here over the years launched the careers of everybody from Eugene O'Neill to Charles Bush Bernice Abbott, the famous photographer, lived here. E. Cummings, the list goes on and on and on. We are here today to say to NYU to reconsider this terrible decision, which they are clearly about to embark upon. And we're also here to say to the city, do your job. Move forward with landmark designation of this That's building. Right. Move forward with landmark yes. designation yes. of this neighborhood. Yes. NYU, like many developers, is constantly trying to outflank and outmaneuver communities that are seeking to preserve their history. This should not be another tragic example of a woulda, shoulda, coulda, where we could have saved this building, but we didn't. NYU's new building will only add 17,000 square feet to their portfolio, and again, they want to add three and a half million in this neighborhood alone. For 17,000 square feet, they are planning to demolish this wonderful piece of our history that's been here for 175 years, and we say no. We say NYU, preserve, don't demolish. Preserve, don't demolish. Preserve, don't demolish.